So anyway, there I was on this planet full of monkeys. Strangely enough, not like the Planet of the Apes, it's closer to Ape Escape, where they all have these weird helmets on their head, making them enhance, yeah, enhancing their intelligence. And I was just trapped. I was a prisoner. But instead of whatever the monkeys were trying to do in Planet of the Apes, I was uh, glitch, entertainment. Glitch. We're, we're live. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, we'll pick up on your entertainment later. We, we got a we got a thing to do. But plan the people sorrow monkeys. Hey, what? What? I mean, fuck. Listen, <laughs> listen, dumbass. We're live. We got to do stuff. I know it's my channel. I mean, technically, oh. it's our channel, but fine. Oh no, fine, this is know. more this is more your channel. But anyway. Point is, we're live, buddy. Fine. Man, I'm happy I actually changed the <laughs> changed the song because. I mean, I mentioned before that that sometimes we just don't have anything to say, but it's better that I've changed the song because now I won't get a copyright for having. What is essentially my own song in there? Ready. We beat the suits. Somehow I'll still get a copyright claim. Yeah. So as we were talking about last part, about what we would do to continue Sly, and as much as I'd like to hear that, I imagine the suits wouldn't let us, you know, they just mock us and... And treat us like crap while eating all their chicken nuggets with multiple sauces. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that song. Smiling I did. Song. Uh, I did. And I, I'm i sad because I didn't see it when it aired. I had to find it on a shady website. But I did see it. And it's just genuinely fucking funny. Uh, poor it's my IP. It's my IP that it's not to do nothing with. <laughs> I just love how they ended up getting rid of him. Think you can do it? Yeah, he deserved it. That was funny, though, when he used his own blood for sauce. <laughs> yeah. I am dying, but I still want my chipkin nuggets. Probably add that to my canonical death, but I've already got something else for my canonical death. Rumpy, you canonically died like five times in the series. <laughs> you can't prove that. Those were all retcons. Um. No. If anyone wonders how I would canonically die, basically I'd just get punched to death by a giant spider. <laughs> punched to death by a giant spider, you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Currently writing the script for soft for <laughs> Rumpy's inevitable death. <laughs> yeah, and it is possible to be punched to death by a giant spider. I'd have a clip exampling that, but I don't have it on me right now. Also, to be fair, Rumpy lives in America's America's Australia. Nah, no, that's too generous. I live at the human zoo. This place I mean, is way more dangerous than Australia. I mean, what we lack in dangerous animals, we make up for in people, so... Yeah, <laughs> you make up for in... I wouldn't even say dangerous people, just stupid people. Yeah, they're still dangerous. Yeah, they're still dangerous, but they're a different kind of dangerous. Look, for every... F for every college student here, you have five Uncle Jims taking in their illegal fireworks and ready to set it off after getting baked and drunk. Yeah, I know. It's a fun time, though. Yeah. Well, it could always be worse. I don't know how, but it could be. Oh, believe me. We can make it worse. Alright, it's time. Mm -hmm. 
to feel that Cooper vibe. Man, the downside is this. Uh, this is another example of I almost, I almost defeated. Yeah, you give me the creeps too late. Hold on. Um. Yeah, she wears me out sometimes too. Why is she not using her legs? She is not standing. Should isolate that later. That blah blah blah. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. This is my train of thought. Um. Anyway, I almost got Miss Ruby on my first try, and then failed at the last because she has her boss fight is just a rhythm mini game. More or less, but I failed at the last section. That really saddened me. Oof. Come yeah. back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. I like her boss fight though. What for as guys. for as annoying as annoying and hard as her boss fight is, it's genuinely um, fun. What's the catch? Oh. Although it reminded me, Just I don't know why, like reminded me a lot of Patapon, yes. mm. which is weird because it doesn't even play like Patapon. What do you mean? Well, I'll my mighty mojo, Love how the chickens are vibing. If you repeat step, what step, I do, ship, step, step, you'll ship. dodge it just yeah. fine. If not... I kind of want to animate Sophie doing that. <laughs> it's going to end up being the credits of, of our fucking playthroughs. Is just yeah. We're going to have an end screen that that's like, all right, here's link. We're linking to other playthroughs that we've done. And in the center, instead of the subscribe button, it's just fucking Sophie vibing like one of the mm. fucking chickens. <laughs> dang, dang. Dang. Dang, dang. Yeah, no, it's it's catchy. Dang. Nice. Let's roll. Punch, kick, jump. Oh, wrong game. Sorry. <laughs> I slammed my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the car door. <laughs> you slammed your penis. You haven't seen that Parappa thing? Uh, no, I, I don't think I have. <laughs> I'll have it in the YouTube re-upload. I need to find it, because it's fucking funny. <laughs> but it's, uh... So, so for context, it was a... Somebody made a joke. Um, here, here, I'll put it in the hall uh, on the channel. Parappa the Rapper skills don't fail me now. Oh, wait. I was never good at Parappa the Rapper. I'm screwed! <laughs> oh, God. I, I've tried Parappa the Rapper. I like, rhythm, I, I like rhythm games. I don't hate Parappa the Rapper. I just, I can never get into it. Uh, I can never get into the game. Is it the art style? Uh, no, it, it's actually, um... It, the, the gameplay is just a little too difficult for me. Ah. Which is weird, because I'm, because rhythm games... R rhythm games aren't usually hard for me. It's just, so, like, that's something that I've usually had trouble with. Uh, by the way, I sent you the video on the Hot oh, Fine channel. Oh, no. Ah. You were so close. Don't worry. 
I did want to mention, so, because this part is actually, with this part as short as it is, I ended up editing in the, um, behind the scenes stuff that you get for doing the, um, that you unlock for getting the, all the time trials. Mm. Uh, for the record, no, I didn't do the time trials. Luckily, that bo the bonus video stuff was available on YouTube. Good thing. Glitch is not a masochist. I... Well, I, I, I never said I wasn't a masochist. <laughs> You're talking to someone who, like, who willingly goes out of his way to 100% games. No matter how difficult they are. You certainly got some <laughs> rhythm, raccoon. <laughs> But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough. With a capital T. Mm. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Yeah, probably be fine. This ruby section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy nobles. I love the fact that right one of on his schedule, one of his ancestors just ex. gained the ability the to turn invisible. Made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71. Burden Miss <laughs> Ruby a life sentence behind bars. On. I'll be right back. While the gang and I enjoy uh, the yeah. in the tropical sunshine, uh, working on our tans in preparation for our I'm just going to warn you it's going to cut to commercial real quick. Neat. Uh when it comes back from commercial, it's going to be the behind-the-scenes stuff. But uh, hopefully I'll be back for them. God, I like that theme song. Bonk. Yeah, I remember this trailer wholeheartedly. Just watch us all these time on the demos. Uh, simpler times. I guess in 2001. Huh. <laughs> How should I describe Sly Cooper? Charismatic, suave, debonair, cool, slick, fast. So nothing Stunning, like you, nerds. Athletic, he's a daredevil. Sly Cooper <laughs> is charming thievery. We started with the idea that we wanted to do an action game where the, the primary character was a thief. The choice of a raccoon was a pretty natural fit in terms of, you know, obviously the, the mask being in place, um, being... Uh, as Dev would say, a creature of the night. We very early on wanted to make a game that looked and felt like a cartoon, but was one step closer to realism. 
rather than flat and graphic. We started experimenting with different ways we could bring this character to life, uh, cell shading, how to make it feel like a cartoon but still feel like a great 3D game. We want it to actually look like it was inked and painted. And we want the backgrounds to be, you know, really lush and have a painted, a painted look. So it looks like it's a, a living animated episode that you've been thrown into. When you look at the game initially, the first thing that draws you in is the beautiful art style and the lush, very, very lush uh, look of the environments. But when you actually play the game, the gameplay itself is lush as well. The original conception of uh, the Sly character uh, was a much more realistic raccoon, chubby and not quite as lithe as the character is now. And it kind of evolved as we went along. Once we got to that part where he kind of evolved into what he is now, um, my main job was to take him and try to put every bit of creepiness into him that I could. He was kind of tiptoeing and he was really like rearing back to like ease his foot forward, trying to keep all his weight back so his foot falls softly on the ground and really try sneaky, to, sneaky, to hone his personality sneaky, sneaky, through sneaky. subtleties in the movement and really try to push the beefiness. As we wanted Sly to feel really agile. I have returned to feel like Sly Hooray! Uh, the most amazing physical... Have uh, you been entertaining the audience while watching the behind-the-scenes stuff? I have tried. We want to let the player of the game feel like they're a thief. What are you eating? I'm not like a real thief. Like you wish thieves were. Dialus? Sly Cooper's story. I wasn't really is eating really it. Cool. He comes from a long line of super raccoon thieves. Meanwhile, I'm over here with kind of delicious chili cheese fries. Called the Thievius Raccoonus. It's on chili <laughs> cheese fries. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the early, the, family the family early family wording of Thievius. Now he feels it's his noble duty to take back the Thievius Raccoonus. Sly has two buddies. Bentley and Murray. Bentley provides a lot. Yeah, like me. Now I only have two friends. <laughs> and three of them are Sophie. Murray has a huge case of, of Sly envy. He wants to be Sly. Get it? It's because the squirrel is fucking fat. A hero is only as good as a squirrel. Oh, they got making them dangerous. That punch. Giving them as much personality as, as Sly Cooper. Also, I don't know if you know, but the um, super high bar, um, being in the action adventure category. The commercials I had earlier the were actually games, uh, beta commercials. Are all action adventures. The genre is such that you have or at least they had early. Every single beta yeah, game. early Some of these footage. Are beta footage. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense for the behind the scenes. The behind the scenes the stuff to have beta footage. Gonna play the animation and, uh, and for the record, I only added this in because otherwise the, the part would have been like 10 minutes long. People are doing shoot em ups and, and things with. You know, uh, but I didn't just add the behind the scenes stuff. You'll see uh, there's something special afterwards. You know, I am sly and I'm, I'm sneaking around. Anytime we can explain right. the environment, build it in a way. Oh, uh, if they only knew what was sly, to come in the gaming industry. We completely exploit that. Yeah. And our golden rule is whatever is thief. Oh, how naive they were in. If you want to make a game looks different, the PS2 2002. gives you the opportunity to do that. Yeah. As a programmer, it has a ton of tools for. Uh, you want to know the downside? What? Oh, uh, we got about um, seven more minutes left in this part. The artists were really unconstrained. I, artists. Were uh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, it's mostly because of the behind the scenes stuff being as long as this. Cell shading that we do, or how can we do the lighting models so that things that are bright. At least this stuff is pretty on. interesting. They have a, oh, yeah. a lot of really cool ideas, like, and uh, I and the other people on the programming team work on. It's something that makes me happy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, so that, uh, Insomniac so Games that also had it for um, ideas happen. What were we able to do was for a uh, ratchet and clank. Oh yeah. In the vector units, and then do the same thing for the cell borders that we put. But um, we, like we mentioned, beta content, you can actually see in certain levels. Different than other games. That was really our goal. Uh, in certain so levels, game, like they're showing off. It's been an interesting process. Game thing all of a sudden. Uh, to build a game like this, it's been. They're showing off levels that we've already done, and you can see the clue counter actually being higher than the level that we played. 
Those which is kind of curious. Unbelievably talented artists, unbelievably talented programmers, and unbelievably talented. Look at that 2001 Enjoy. desk. The designers, I think, have done a wonderful job of giving players the experience of sneaking and being a thief, and at the same time making the designs. You know, Rumpy, if I, I am so curious that, if there is a the, a super gamer game franchise player, that. that hasn't had a new game in the ages that you would love to see return what would it be uh, uh, that's a tough list there's a lot that i'd like to see make a comeback i guess jack and daxter would be one of them i miss them i'm just curious how they would do another jack and daxter it's mm. not a misnomer. Legacy sequel? Maybe. Another one I'd like to see come back would be Parappa. Parappa, I, I definitely would like. I think we did get a remaster of the PS4. Okay. So, thank God, the rest of the the rest of the part isn't just... Um... Shit, I can't think. Is it... Uh, the rest of the part isn't just behind the scenes. Anyway, what was that all about? We got a remaster of Parappa on PS4, which I know a lot of people didn't like because of um, it had um, the audio wasn't synced up properly, which for a rhythm game is a problem. Oh yeah, that's a big detriment. Um. I want a new Ape Escape. Either a new Ape Escape or bring some of the Japanese only Ape Escape like games Raccoonus. over to America. Like, tr Raccoonus, for at least translate them into English. D like, you don't have to redub them, but translate them into English so that English players un can understand it. Anybody you recognize here? Nah. And, huh? I I, like, I'd be fine animal, with that. Uh, because we have. Um, does this ring a bell? Which mm -hmm. one? You sitting here lying to me, wasting my time. You're a liar, and I know you're a liar. The funny thing is, last time, last time Sophie was convicted, this same thing happened. <laughs> yeah. But um. Welcome to the commercial outtakes for Sly Cooper. Yeah, Th this was the special thing that I was talking about. So. Raccoonus. He's also won Doing the time trials, not only do you get the behind the scenes, you get all the commercials that we just saw, not including the E3 commercials, but you get the commercials that we just saw no, no. and this we, uh, uh, blue reel. Oh, where's he going? I fucking love. Where's he going? Right, can, can he look at the camera? Not at you? <laughs> I love the raccoon. What is, for? Star what is that? All right, he, he, he's churning <laughs> an egg or... Is he gonna hurt? Come on, pat him. Come back here. <laughs> uh, yeah, please. Oh, that, that's that's crazy. I move the stick. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Could someone get another raccoon? In? Oh, this is bad. Okay, smoke. Okay, less smoke. Okay, less <laughs> smoke. <laughs> All right, smoke. Um. Shit, what I was gonna add. Um, the smoke. We've got way too much smoke. But for the mm -hmm. Japanese, Oops. for the Japanese Ape Escape games, there was. Okay. There he... Hello, bandit. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is good. Good. There was. Wait, wait, bandit, bandit, where are you going? The. Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Hey, I know that cat. Which cat? Which cat? Where? Show that me. Cat. Point him out. That cat right where? There. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Holy crap, I love that overacting. Gawk. <laughs> Monkey. You know what this is? Um, hey, maybe we should get more animal critters for our channel. Rob, I will cut you! Look, it's already, it's already practically a zoo, and there's only like three of us.
A vulture? Yeah, I know that. Or a condor. I think that was a condor. It's burb. <laughs> Dog. Tell me something here. You're gonna give me something. I don't know any no, of these you're gonna animals, tell me something man. Tonight? I don't hang out with animals, man. <laughs> what are all this? I should get a duck for the yeah, channel. I would like a duck friend. Rob, I will kill you! Let's be fair, Sophie. Adding another animal wouldn't be a terrible thing. Stir out of this! That being said, it would be considered jumping the shark. And before you say anything, Rumpy, no, we're not getting a shark. Alright, anyway, that's the end of the part. We'll see you guys next time.